Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys if you have a BMW guys 5 series and you're trying to test your van solenoid. Stay with us guys, we will explain how to do that and know if your solenoid is good or bad. All the tools and parts that we use or if you need to buy new solenoids, we'll put the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from. Now, before we start, let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least 200 free repair videos. Why we do that? Because our in the shop is to save you as much money as we can guys all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video that way we can keep providing this free information guys uh, let me show you what we have here this is actually a six cylinder gasoline engine but even if you have guys a four cylinder gasoline diesel v8 engine you will have vanos and the procedure will be about the same before we start guys let me uh, let me tell you something this is our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 71 million people guys so we have uh, videos that can save you thousands of dollars on future repairs check it out and subscribe if you want to save money in the future guys now this engine is the N52, but many engines, guys, will actually have the van solenoid located on the front side of your engine, on your BMW 5 Series, guys. Uh, this right here, okay, for instance, is intake, this is exhaust valves. We have everything pre loosened you need to disconnect your wire, remove the bolt, and pull it out. You have one O-ring, make sure the O-ring comes with it, because sometimes that O-ring will be stuck right here, and you have to be gentle when you pull it out, not to push it inside your engine. So... That being said, guys, this is the valve. Okay, this is your valve solenoid, and it, guys, opens and closes. And depending on how much it opens and closes, actually sends the oil through different holes, and that changes uh, the angle of your uh, of your camshaft. So we have the variable timing for your engine, but. How you guys actually test those things? You have two wires right here. Now it's super important, okay, these wires when you test them, not to touch okay the connectors next to each other or you will burn your vanos solenoid and you will need to replace it with a new one what we recommend using alligator clips we'll put the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get ours from so go ahead install it it doesn't matter which way is positive which way is negative you can test it either way and we'll explain as we go so those are connected now we're going to okay go ahead okay apply 12 volt supply and listen what's going up What's going to happen? Okay, give me a second. You can hear that click and you can see the vanos moving inside as well. So that's what we need, guys, right there. Now, if we reverse the wires, it will still work, guys. Doesn't matter, polarity is not a factor here. Okay, it still opens and closes. So definitely that's a good vanos, guys. If you want to see how to clean those, because sometimes they may be working good, but if it's uh, sticking a little bit, it may be slow. You may need to clean them, guys, because sometimes you have gunk and stuff inside. We'll have a video on the channel that will explain, guys, how to do that. And I'll try to put the link in the description of the video below, so please check it out. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching and see you guys next time.